and it, it really just sounds like okay so let's take a look what the eq was doing this time and oh surprise So this video is about Isotopes Neutron and whether its AI track enhance is really as good as they want us to believe. So my name is Toby and this is the best intro you've seen in a while. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, actually I'm sitting in front of my PC and um, you know, let's talk about Isotope Neutron first. So uh, Isotope Neutron is uh, a mixing plugin you know, with a lot of cool features. And one of these features is a track enhance feature, which is supposed to use AI to analyze your individual tracks and make mixing suggestions. So I've been using this um, for a couple of months and I have to give in, I really like it, but I discovered something weird, okay? Which was that no matter when I had very mid-heavy guitars or very scooped guitars or no matter what kind of a kick drum sound or whatever instrument I use, used, um, Neutron was always applying kind of very, very similar, um, yeah, well, processing. Okay, so I came up with a specific test. So I was recording my Marshall JVM. Um, I was using a DI box capturing the sound or the signal of my guitar amp after the power amp section. And then I was using some ARs here in my DAW. So let me actually play back how the raw guitar sounds. Oh, yeah, I should unmute it. Okay, so this is the bass sound. And let's actually open up Neutron. Here it is. Okay. So the feature I'm talking about is in the mix assistant. It's the track enhance. I listen to your audio and create a custom preset to fit your track. Mm -hmm. So they also explained it on their blog, on their website, saying that it's using AI to analyze your frequencies and your dynamics and make suggestions how to, you know, make your actual track sit better in the mix. So let's let's try it out. So instrument, um, you know, it's actually selected by hand. Let's go here, distorted electric, style, balanced, and intensity is medium. So let's let's actually use it for demonstration purposes. So it's waiting for my audio, so I will just hit the play button. Okay, so you can see it was analyzing quite of, you know, actually a lot of things. And uh, yeah, let's have a look. So it was applying the sculptor. Um, you know, this is some kind of a tool that forces your frequencies into um, a summary of frequencies of many, you know, professionally recorded, let's say, instruments. So... Um, forget about this because this is activated by default. What's more interesting is the equalizer section. And what you can actually see is there is, um, you know, um, a low cut actually here at the bottom end and it was boosting the lower bass frequencies, it was boosting the mids and then it's also boosting um, the very high treble or presence frequencies a little bit. And then it's applying um, a multiband compression with two different bands and then another multiband compressor and then it's also actually applying a multi-band exciter. Okay, so I don't really want to go into detail what these things are doing. I just want to see what it actually does when I am now exporting this track and use it, got sec use it a second time. Uh, because this is something I found very, very interesting because I believed that, you know, it's an uh, AI and it's actually taking a look or it's actually listening to your tracks. So when you have a very scooped guitar, it should actually... Um, you know, boost the mids a little bit so it cuts better in the mix. And um, yeah, I believe that when I now export the processed track and open it up a second time, and when I use Neutron a second time on the already enhanced track, it shouldn't really apply the same settings twice. So let's try this out. 
So let's close this window and quickly export this one track. Okay. Ah, it's stupid. You, you, you can't actually hear me when it's exporting. Anyway, so I was just um, exporting it. So let's have a look. This is it. And let's copy it. Okay. So mute the first track. And as promised, it's the actual process track from Neutron. <laughs> So, okay, I, I quite like the sound. This is really good. So, let's actually open up Neutron a second time. Um, Neutron 3. And this is where it gets really interesting because now let's open up the mix assistant, track enhance, and say distorted electric guitar again, balance style, medium intensity, and say next. <laughs> Okay, so it's quite loud. Okay. All right. So, Sculptor, I told you it's, you know, set to 50 by default. So, this has always the same settings. And let's go to the EQ tab and, hmm, it looks pretty similar. And compression as well. And the exciter as well. So, let's actually put this to the side and open up the first instance. And let's compare. So you can actually see that the EQ looks very, very similar. So um, what I do not understand is that the first time I was analyzing my rock guitar track isotope, um, actually Neutron or the AI decided to boost the bass, boost the mids and boost the treble. And then on the second iteration, it did the same again except the third EQ band is uh, actually placed a little bit lower at around, let's say, 150 hertz. It's actually 170. Okay, so that's the only real difference, but you can see it has a dynamic note here at, what is it, 6,500 hertz, and the first time, actually the same frequency. Um, the boost on the upper frequencies looks the same, and the boost at around 655 hertz is yeah it's, it's it's pretty similar actually so it's boosting the mids again and i'm wondering why because shouldn't the ai actually notice that i have enough mids already i don't know so let's close it and let's make something funny um let's export this a second time Okay, good, mute this, go back to the desktop. And let's import it once more, here it is. All right, so let's have a listen. Okay, so you can hear that it's really dark now and it has a very strange, um, what's called, um, voicing of the gain structure okay so it starts to sound a little bit weird so i'm wondering what is you know what neutron is actually doing when i'm applying it a third time <laughs> okay so let's use it once more track enhance instrument distorted electric style is balanced intensity medium and next <laughs> Okay, so let's go over to the EQ tab and, huh, surprise, <laughs> it's actually doing the same shit over and over again. So this time the EQ looks pretty much the same as the first one. So this here is the second iteration. Okay, so this was slightly different, but you can see that the most notes are 
pretty much the same. So when I open up the first time we were using Neutron, and then we take a look at the EQ, you can see that they are actually very, very similar. So actually, let's compare the notes. 56 hertz, and this is the low cut at 57 hertz. Then this is at 126 hertz, and this one 120 and this is at 467 and same here as well so you can actually see it's repeating the same shit over and over again and i do not really understand why because i believe that when it's ai it should be really smart okay this is my opinion because when i'm recording a shitty guitar sound with too much mids for for example metal or something like that um you know some really smart ai should actually tell you dude you have too much mids cut it out because it's like you know too much in your mix or you have too much bass because it's too much in your mix but um you know it seems like actually it seems like this ai is just applying a preset and shifting a few no notes and a few uh, parameters back and forth okay so to be honest i mean <laughs> don't hate me i i love this plugin but um, in my opinion, this is not really intelligent, okay? I'm sorry to say it like this, but it's it's really weird. And as you can hear, it starts to sound like <laughs> So let's actually take a listen to the result. <laughs> okay, so it, it sounds really, really weird. So just for shits and giggles, let's export it. And yeah, Neutron iteration. I always forget that my voice is, you know, my voice is silent when I'm exporting. Um, yes, yeah, so imported. All right. So let's mute the remaining tracks. Come on. All right. So. Let's open it a fourth time. Mix Assistant, Track Enhance, and then let's use the very nice AI once more. Um, guitar Distorted, Balanced Medium, next. So let's play. So it's distorting and clipping. And it, it really just sounds like okay. So let's take a look what the EQ was doing this time. And oh, surprise, it was cutting the bass, boosting the lower frequencies, boosting the mids. And okay, this time it's this is more or less guitar body frequency range. So yeah, the, the mid boost is a little bit lower, lower at. Um, yeah, you can see it's it's actually repeating the same steps over and over again, and yeah, it's it's pretty weird. So, but I really want to to say, and this is the reason why I made this video, is uh, when you're recording this shit, the track enhance function is also not going to improve it because you can see it was always adding bass, mids, and treble, and when you have too much mids in your sound because you, for example, dialed in your guitar amp in the wrong way. Um, the that's a, the AI is not really able to spot it. Okay, so it's very likely they are still going to boost the mid. And the other way around, when you have a too scooped sound with too few mids, um, the AI is also not really going to recognize it. So, in my honest opinion. Forgive me, but I, I think it didn't really deserve the term um, AI feature because I think it's it's far away from being truly intelligent. Okay, so in in my opinion, it, it's a really good starting point, but you should always make sure to yeah, let's let's actually let, use your own brain to be honest. So when you notice you have too much mids or too little mids, you know, cut it away. When you hear that some instruments are masking each other, you know, make some space by by giving each instrument a separate frequency range and things like that. Because um, 
I I actually was believing the AI was doing this automatically, but it's not. It's it's technically always doing the same the same things over and over again. So yeah. Anyway, I hope this was very interesting and helpful for you. So this is my very amazing outro. Subscribe. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Okay. So um, oh, come on, go away. It won't let me pull this. Okay. So. Thank you very much for watching and the next video will be in front of the camera again and see you next time. Bye.